Hi my awesome friends, this is Debbie from Blossom Your Creativity and today I'm participating in an open collaboration with the Glam Squad. And this collaboration is called Glam Easter Table. So the Glam Squad members include Glamour Allen, Luxury Living by N, Glam Home My Style, My Colors, and Glam Queen of Decor. So let's see what kind of glam I put into my Easter table. All right, so I started off with my Mackenzie Child's teapot, and I have these beautiful um, faux tulips in there, and I have different colors and styles of them, and I'm really liking all these tulips. I um, wanted a little bit fuller, but I ran out, so I'm hoping that, um, you like this. So again, this is my Mackenzie Child's pot, teapot. I like to use it for um, floral arrangements versus using it as a teapot. <laughs> so I'll back up just slightly. And now I'm coming into focus. We see my um, candle holders on either side. I picked those up at Home HomeSense, I believe is the new store. And um, I like that silver. Um, and I got home and realized I really don't have a lot of silver. So I struggled with um, trying to find other items to, um, to pair with this. But I did the best I could. Um, so then in the back, I have some, um, some florals that uh, are my mom's that she's going to be using for a decor um, or a little vignette outside. Um, for Alice in Wonderland and I said, oh, let me use those because that'll glam up my table <laughs> for this glam Easter table. Um, so moving down, I have my little happy Easter sign that I made um, with a napkin and I had some a little issues with it, but I kind of, um, you know, got it to where it looked halfway decent. So I'm pretty happy with that. And then come down further and these are my Mackenzie Child's um, salt and pepper shakers and I know they're in, in gold but I did not have anything silver. I couldn't believe how much gold trim is on everything I own. <laughs> so um, I just tried to do the best I could for that. And then I have my cute little bunnies and I just, um, I picked these up from Hobby Lobby and I just put a little bow around them and I used that little bow in the middle um, that was a, um, oh my goodness, I just created that with a mold and some model magic. And the same with this side, just put a little bow on him. Now my teapot is sitting on a Mackenzie Child's riser and that's the black and white check. And I just have some greenery and I put some little eggs around just to give it some little Easter festive look and on that flowers in the back I just poked in a couple of red um, not red <laughs> um, pink roses just to give it a little bit of color in there now let me move my glass so you can see here and then on this side I have uh, my little um, Easter couple, my um, girl and boy, and you know what? I forgot to mention this runner is so pretty with the bunnies on it, and I kind of filled it in so much that you hardly get to see the bunnies. So I want to make that, I want to make sure you can see that. So pretty, and it's got some roses on there, but I do like that a lot. So let me go back over to this side and there's my little bunnies again, like we talked about. And then, okay, now I got a better ankle. And so this is my um, uh, blue and white check little teapot. And it's just for two. I have a bigger one. Um, so it's funny because I have this real little one and I didn't get the size like that one. I got a humongous one. I don't know how that happened. So it's really not, um, I don't know, I, I think it's too big, so I don't use it a lot on my tablescapes. And then um, I just, in the back, I have these um, little tree looking things. I got them from, I got them at a yard sale a couple years ago. 
So I'm going to move over to this side now. And um, this is a little teacup that my friend Annalie made. And it's all made from paper. The roses. Um, the only thing that's not paper is a spoon. But look at how pretty she did a great job. And again, it's just paper. Um, so I just love everything about it. I actually have two of them, but the other one um, did the color, it didn't do well with this, the tablescape I'm doing today. So I decided just to put the one um, out. And then, sorry, I'm moving my glasses. And then coming over here, I have my um, Mackenzie Child's little basket. And this is simply adorable. I just love this. I love the way the bottom is. Um, the, it flutes, the fluted top, the fluted bottom. I think that's what you call a flute, I don't know. But it's so pretty. And then I just simply put a little nest of eggs inside there. So cute. And then, again, that little tree. So let me stop this video and get reset up so I can show you my actual um, place setting. Today's collaboration is Glam Easter Tablescape with a little twist of glam style and we're going to have some fun. Today's collaboration is hosted by the Glam Squad. The Glam Squad members include Glamour Ellen, Luxury Living Within, Glam Home, My Style, My Colors, and Glam Queen of Decor. So after watching my video, please head on over to their channels and take a look at what they put together. All right, so I removed my plate so I can show you my charger. Look at how pretty that is. It's just all sparkly. I love it. I wish I had a plate like this, but it's a charger, so you can't use it as a plate. <laughs> so um, and I have my glasses here, so I've got a green one. And then I have the two smaller ones. Um, so we're gonna do um, a, um, different wines for the different um, afternoon lunch that we're gonna put together. Okay, so I just simply added this white plate. I really love this plate because it has this scallop design on it. And it actually goes with just about everything. And um, I've I used it quite a bit for different um, tablescapes and events. And um, it, it changes everything up because once you put the luncheon plate on it, um, it looks different. So let's see what it looks like with the luncheon plate. Okay, so this idea, um, this is my luncheon plate. And um, I just simply put my napkin underneath. And I kind of like that. Sorry, I have a lot of shadows in here. Um, and so I'm really liking that. But I did another auction. And let's see if you like this. So let's head on over to this side. And this one I have a silver one. This one's a little bit more elegant. So I'm just wondering, what do you guys think? Which one do you like better? I'm kind of torn because I do like um, the color variation in the yellow. Let's see if I can get it. See, I've got this shadow here. <laughs> Darn. Um, so I do like that but I feel like this side is a little bit um, more glamorous and that's what I'm supposed to be going for, right? The glam look. <laughs> so I'm liking this, but I have one more change and let's see if you like this one. Okay, here it is. This is my favorite. Look at the beautiful rabbit ears. And look at it, it's blingy all the way around. And I'm using my Mackenzie Child's napkin. And I just love it. I think that um, this one is my favorite. So that's why I saved it for last. The same on this side. So let me know what you think, you guys. I really enjoy putting this together. It's not as glam as most people's table, but I'm learning. <laughs> So, if you're not already subscribing, please come back. I mean, please subscribe. Consider subscribing. Come back and see all of the different videos that I would be posting. I like to do a lot of DIYs, faux foods, 
Um, I do like making a nice little table like this one here. So I want to thank the Glam Squad for um, having this open collaboration and allowing me to participate. Um, I hope I did you proud. Sorry it wasn't as glamorous as most of you other ladies, but um, I got to start somewhere. So I start at the bottom and work my way up. <laughs> well, thank you again, um, my awesome friends and um, new followers, um, new people that come over to check out my channel. Again, I'm, I'm a new channel, so I'm just getting started, but I have lots of ideas and looking forward to um, learning how to blossom my creativity. Until next time, bye-bye. Okay, I had one extra touch. Um, I added this green, um, I guess it's a placemat, a green placemat underneath my um, plates. And I think that just brings it all together. There was way too much yellow on the table. And then I just added a little dish of candy. Um, so I'm hoping that um, breaks up that yellow tablecloth a little bit better. Um, I still feel like it needed a little something else, but I just don't want to clutter the table any more than um, it's, it's, it's quite busy. So hope you um, enjoy this tablescape that I put together with a little bit of glam. I had a lot of fun. Um, there's a little bit of whimsy in there. Um, and I hope that you come back and see what I have um, again. I almost forgot. I made these cute little cupcakes. Check them out. <laughs> they have cute little jelly beans. And I made the little bunny ears out of clay, and I got the little cups from Home Goods. So that's the extra little touch it needed. It need, I wanted a little bit more color, and I think that works out. So now I'm done. <laughs> I've got a lot of changes constantly. I don't know what I want to do sometimes. I just want to always keep changing and creating so hopefully you like this if it's too much let me know but i thought it turned out pretty cute again thank you thank you so much for stopping by and i hope you um, become part of our youtube family bye bye please watch till the very end this is just some additional up close photos of my table unfortunately i don't have opportunity to use music at this time but I do want to say thank you again to all who's came over and watched my channel